Hello everyone, today we will do classical facade by profiles only. By the way, this is project you can download below in the description. And now we will see how working the profiles. This is 5 minutes of Revit. Let's start. In this tutorial we will not create a new project. Let's work right here. The first thing what we need to start our lesson of course surface. We will place our profiles on it. The surface uh, in our case it is wall. So let's create one of it. Now I will go to the my um, plan view. I will go to the first level. Uh, let's zoom it. And now uh, in the ribbon menu I will choose the wall. You can choose any wall whatever you want. But uh, I will choose some exterior wall. Because this is profiles we will use for exterior. That's why I will choose the exterior. Maybe this one with brick. And let's draw some wall. By space key you can uh, change the face to in or out, so like this. Just place somewhere, maybe let's make the some angle here, maybe like this one and maybe like this. Let's create this is a bit smaller, like this. And let's check the height, it's now 8 meters, it's, mm, actually it's so much. Let's create 3.5. Okay, now let's go to the back uh, to the 3D and we will work on it now. My first uh, uh, profile will locate it on the first level, uh, not first level, first layer with uh, bricks. So it will be on the base. Uh, I'm just click on the uh, selected uh, the, this type of wall. I'll go to inside edit type. Let's go to inside the structure. Now you can see here the sweeps, we need sweeps, and this is section of our wall. So let's go inside the sweeps and we will add some profile. Here you can see mine profiles, I already did it, So, but we will use the, we will use basic one, this one. And material doesn't matter now, distance, distance means it's how, uh, how high it will be from the base. If I will apply, you see now, this is 50 millimeter, but I don't want to do that, it will be zero. So if I will apply, it will be on the same level. Uh, side, it means exterior or inside. And offset, it means uh, our um, sweep will be a bit offset from the wall. Uh, flip, uh, just mirror it, that's it. And, and set back, that's it. Here, not much the... Um, settings and let's mm, uh, add one more uh, sweep for that one I will use three bricks oh no let's try this one uh, precast that one and apply you will see what is that if I will let's let's zoom it it will be more useful for you uh, and now I will want to make some offset not for this for this one Let's make it like 150. Let's see, where is it? No, it's not enough. Uh, maybe 180. Apply. Yes, okay, I want that. Uh, 190. Uh, with something in close, something 95. Yes, we are. Let's create something like that. Okay, okay. Apply. And as you see, we get uh, our sweep here. Let's say I want to put some mm, door here. Let's go to the uh, ribbon menu, door, and let's put here the door. The bad situation, because here not is enough distance. So let's go back, let's go back to the first level. Let's make it uh, a bit far, like this maybe. Maybe like this. Yeah, it is much better. Now go back, door. Let's put the door. Nice. So you need need to cut anything. Now let's put some window. One window, two window, yeah. and the same distance. Let's let's make the same distance, like maybe like this. Okay, nice. And now most inter most interesting things. So go again to the ribbon menu wall. Uh, click on this uh, icon, and now we can see here wall sweep. 
and as you see this is sweeping so let's create some sweep here 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 and maybe here double click done now let's change our sweep I already did some for example I want some curved sweep uh, by command align you can align it whenever you want uh, also you can uh, create some vertical sweep Let's create like a rectangular one, like this one. Again, you can make like this. Of course, you can uh, offset it from the wall. Let's uh, make 150 inside. Oh, it's too much. Uh, like 50, it should be enough. Yes, it should be enough. Something like that. So, uh, what about the profile? How create the own one? It's uh, pretty much easy. We'll go again to the file. Uh, new family and here you should find a uh, metric generic uh, profile let's try ah metric ju just metric profile here just open it and draw profile whatever you want for example uh, let's create something like this maybe like this something something a bit complicated maybe some curve here will be like this maybe like this and let's close it so we did profile this is family number three now this is default name you can change but I not will do that let's load it inside to the project let's create some uh, new sweep uh, uh, I want a horizontal and let's choose I don't know edit type duplicate and new profile let's uh, give the name like this Pro file okay and let's choose our new profile uh, we call it how it's called it and family tree okay and let's create it one here one here one here and on here done and as you see this is our profile what we did of course for example you you can you know, this is too small Let's go back again to our 3D, uh, to our profile. Uh, let's um, make it a bit bigger, maybe like this. Let's load it again to the back, override, and as you see, we get changes. So by these profiles, you can combine uh, like can, as you can you see here, like you can combine different profiles like one uh, composition. But sweep, it doesn't mean extrude. You also can uh, make the some gaps like uh, reveal. For example, here, here, and here. Ah, he doesn't want here. Okay, let's step. And you can do something like that. But as you see, now we get nice problem. Uh, it's cut the wall, but didn't cut the uh, our sweep. How we can cut sweep uh, two? So just uh, select uh, our profile, go to the join profile and this one, double. And as you see, it was cut. Of course, you can also extrude in the outside, like offset from the wall. Let's create a um, 250 maybe. Let's create 250 like this and join elements. And it's already inside. I don't need inside, I need outside. So it means minus 250. Too much. Minus 100. Enough. And as you see, it's cutting now both of them. It's like this. Uh, what else about the profile? For example, let's go again to the sweep. Uh, let's create only one profile here. Uh, now, if I will uh, select uh, my profile, I can change manually the distance of that profile. Maybe I want just part. Maybe I want to put uh, something like that. I'll show you now. Uh, like this. I will align by my window. And maybe I will, I will put it uh, like this. So, uh, what else I can do? I can make the some um, angles for the corner of my um, profile. It's here, modify returns. 
click on that. Now it's by, by default 45 degree. Maybe I want like 65 degree. And just choose one corner and other corner. And as you see, we get ni now nice corners. And it's look not bad. But I think we need to mirror it. Because it will be looks better if I will mirror it. Let's try it. Okay, like this. Let's f easy. It's flip it. Just I'll flip it. I like this. Yeah, it looks much better. Like this. So and you can make some composition uh, for, from the other profile and make your facet more classical uh, with some some ornaments and whatever you want. Uh, maybe you want some corner around your uh, your window or even the your uh, door and uh, for example uh, you also can get some the gap uh, to the uh, for your drainage so it also works this is it for now and now we can go to below this video you will find the uh, link with this project download it and use it do whatever you want thank you guys and see you soon